The Ukrainian defenders successfully repulsed Russian attacks in the Slovyansk, Kramatorsk and Avdiivka direction, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported. However, the Russian occupiers managed to advance towards Bakhmut. Shelling was reported in the Bakhmut direction near Kostantinivka, Bakhmut, Solodar, Shumy, Yakovlivka, Kodema and Vershina. The enemy also carried out airstrikes near Solodar, Yakovlivka and Kodema. The Ukrainian forces hit and neutralized an enemy reconnaissance group in the direction of Solodar. The occupiers conducted offensive battles in the direction of Yakovlivka, Solodar, Vershina, Kondema and Zaitseve, suffered losses and withdrew. In the Bakhmut direction, enemy units were partially successful. On the night of August 15th, Russian troops attacked Kharkiv, Mykolaiv and Nikopol. There were more than five explosions in Mykolaiv and 12 explosions in Kharkiv. According to preliminary data, Nikopol was shelled from multiple launch rocket systems. Yevhany Yevtushenko, head of the Nikopol military administration, said. Bakhmut was also shelled. Local residents reported about 150 explosions. There are fires in some districts of the city. Rescuers also have been under enemy fire. No casualties were reported. <laughs> Ukrainian guerrillas are also resisting the Russian invaders. The day before, resistance forces partially destroyed a railway bridge near Russian-occupied Melitopol in the Zaporizhia region. For the past day, there has been not a single train carrying Russian equipment from Jankoy to Melitopol, local authorities said. Minus one railroad bridge in the southwestern direction from Melitopol equals a complete absence of Russian echelons from the Crimea. The resistance forces have helped the bridge to become so tired that the Russian occupiers have not been able to repair it for the second day. Moreover, since yesterday, mass filtration activities has been taking place in Melitopol and nearby settlements, but not a single guerrilla has been found. Ivan Fedorov, mayor of Melitopol, on Telegram. The Suma region was also targeted. Russian troops shelled four border communities 11 times during the past day. In total, there were more than 110 arrivals. According to preliminary reports, no civilians were wounded. Reported by Roman Smoller, Vlada Tsurkan, UATV News.